After following hundreds of prompting videos, thousands of LinkedIn posts, and every so-called perfect prompt formula you've ever tried, ChatGPT still ignores you. You tell it exactly what to do, yet it ends up writing off topic, ignoring context, changing tone, or flat out ignoring directions. Deep down, you're probably thinking, what am I doing wrong? But here's the twist, your prompt isn't broken. Whether you're a busy marketer or a local business owner, you're probably fighting five hidden layers of instructions that are secretly hijacking your results without even knowing it. The result is confusion, contradiction, and a final output that looks nothing like what you asked for. In this video, I'll show you exactly where those conflicts live and how to clean them up so GPT-5 finally listens to you. So grab a pen, cause you're gonna wanna write this down. The most obvious place is one that almost no one talks about, and yet it quietly ruins more outputs than anything else. It's your conversation history. ChatGPT doesn't see each message as separate. It sees everything you've ever said in that chat as one giant mega prompt. Every word, every correction, every example stacks up and GPT-5 listens to all of it. So when you reopen the same thread tomorrow and type a new instruction, you're not starting fresh. You're continuing a conversation that already has a massive hidden prompt built into it. If there's a contradiction buried earlier, it may still be prioritizing it. And as the chat gets really long, performance starts dropping. Around the 30,000 token mark, you'll see focus fade, noise stack up, and the model starts repeating itself. The fix is insanely easy. Every time you feel ChatGPT slipping off track, start a new chat, a new thread, literally a blank page. And if you need to bring over context, don't copy paste the whole thing. Just summarize it like you would for a new hire. Like, here's what we've decided so far, and here's what I need next. Clean context equals clean output. So before you rewrite your prompt for the 10th time, try ending the conversation and starting a new one. Okay, now this one's wild because most people experimented with setting custom instructions when it first came out in August and then forgot about them. Yet these act like a permanent prompt that runs quietly in the background of every single chat you start. Think of them like ChatGPT's default personality settings. So even when you open a brand new chat, GPT-5 is still following the preferences you set months ago. Let's say you told it to write in a friendly, conversational tone and keep answers concise. But now, when you want it to write like a lawyer, formal and detailed, it's still trying to reconcile those old defaults you gave it months ago. And that's why ChatGPT sometimes sounds off, even when your new prompt is perfectly clear. In your ChatGPT dashboard, go to Settings, Personalization, and check out the custom instructions. Read what you've written there. Delete or update anything that doesn't match what you need right now. You'll be shocked by how many weird tones or why does it keep doing that moments disappear instantly. Now this next one is where things get personal. If the memory feature is turned on, ChatGPT actually remembers you. Everything from your tone and style to your preferences and how you like your punctuation. ChatGPT's memory is designed to make conversations feel smoother. But sometimes it remembers the wrong things. Maybe a few weeks ago, you kept prompting for short, punchy sentences. Then later, you asked for something long and detailed. Memory kicks in and suddenly ChatGPT ignores your new request because it's trying to stay consistent with who you are. So let's go to settings, personalization, memory, and manage. This is where you will see exactly what ChatGPT knows about you. Read it carefully like you're proofreading your own reputation. Delete anything that doesn't fit who you are now. It's like hitting the refresh button on how GPT-5 sees you. If you think ChatGPT's gone rogue, it might be because of the most overlooked setting in the entire interface. If you're using projects in ChatGPT, each one acts like its own mini environment with its own instructions, tone, and goals. And these project instructions don't just add context, they can override everything else. So even if you've done all the things I just told you, your project might still be whispering an entirely different command in the background. Go to your project, click the three dots, click on add instructions, and look at what's written there. You'll probably find leftover notes or test prompts from weeks ago. If you're running client work, say marketing for five different businesses, give each project its own clear, specific instruction set. Think of it like creating brand guidelines for your AI so that each project reflects the actual voice, tone, and goals 
for that client or campaign. Once you do that, everything inside that workspace starts behaving consistently again. All right, we fixed your prompt, cleaned up your chat history, updated your custom instructions, reset your memory, aligned your projects. So why does ChatGPT still sometimes act bizarre? This brings us to the fifth and final layer, custom GPT instructions. Every custom GPT, whether it's one you built or one you're using from the Explore tab, comes with its own hidden instruction set, baked in by its creator. These are not suggestions, they're system level commands. They define how the custom GPT talks, what tone it uses, what it refuses to do, and even which instructions it ignores. So if you're using someone else's GPT, you're basically stepping into their world with their invisible boss. You can give it new prompts, sure, but those prompts are always sitting under the creator's built-in rules. Now, if it's your own custom GPT, you can open the configure panel, scroll to instructions, and edit everything inside. But if it's someone else's GPT, you can't change it. You'll just need to work within its framework or start your own. Now that you've got these expert troubleshooting tips down, check out this video where we deep dive into mastering GPT-5 with expert insights on how to produce the outputs you want with less work. The link is in the description box below.